Hello, it's Kiana Iba again with Iba Art, and I wanted to show you the end result of all that coffee dyeing I did the other day. So I've got some of that large piece of paper, remember the ream of paper that I had. This is almost all of it, I've actually used some of it already. Um, and I wanted to show you a couple of unique things in this paper. I've got, um, well first of all I want to tell you, I dried most of this instead of putting it in the oven I air dried it so I laid out this huge piece of plywood and I just put all my pieces of paper on there um, and held some down with pieces of rock um, wherever um, need be you know when the wind picked up um, so you can kind of see a little bit di different pattern here this is where it laid a little bit heavier where I dripped some more coffee on the edges and it's just got a really almost like rippling effect around the edges so I really liked it it was it's different than anything I've seen on the other sheets here's another one that's very similar uh, the edges got a little bit darker which is exactly what I wanted it looks like it's been coffee dyed already or you know when they take a stamp and they ripple the edges to antique it it's been it's been pre antiqued I guess so a lot of these turned out this way um, I did put it on um, plywood that had a little bit of the black paint on it, you know, to tell you what kind of plywood it was. Um, and it rippled off onto this, which is really pretty. So, um, that's what this is. This is actually the coffee paper kind of seeping the paint off of the wood. So, those are really pretty. Let's see if I can find some other ones. This one's a little bit lighter. Um, I did them all the same way, but obviously... You know, coffee just turns up a little bit different on each sheet. So, anyway, I love these sheets. Um, they're going to be in my junk journals coming up here soon. Here's some little different ones. They kind of got out on the edges. Another sheet where they were layered, where I took like a little piece and um, doubled up. But I am going to have a lot of fun using these. And putting them in each page will be just a little bit different from each other. So, those were the big pieces of paper, the ream. Um, and then if you remember, I also had a book. And this isn't just book in this stack, I guess. But um, everything looks bigger once it's coffee dyed. So, they're, you can see they're, they're pretty flat, actually. Um, I just laid them under a bunch of books to flatten them out after a while. Um, so... This is what these turned out like. You can see where I put um, a book or a rock here to hold the paper down so the wind wouldn't blow it away. Um, dripped a little bit of extra coffee there just to give it some character. Um, a little bit of black here. But all of these are just super unique. So um, my idea with this is either to make them into... Um, uh, envelopes. So I was going to fold them into a square and then rip off this extra rectangle here. It's kind of ragged, but that's okay because I like ragged. Fold in my corners. This is my bottom. And I fold these up just a little bit extra on both sides. And this down. And I end up just taking this off. And this will be the top of my envelope. So here is just a super simple fast envelope and I would um, glue this together and um, stick it in a junk journal. So these are going to be really useful that or another way I've used these is um, just folding them in half long ways like a hot dog and slipping them in between one of my bigger sheets of paper for my uh, signatures. So I've got a couple signatures have this like in the middle so as you flip it open you've got a half sheet and keep going so yeah there's a lot of versatility with this these little half sheets so 
we'll see. It'll be fun to use. Um, as you can see, I've also got these other sheets of paper. This came from an herb book, which I'm so excited about because it's got all these beautiful little flowers and they look like super expensive stamps or something, but um, it's from an actual book. So this is like from aloe and then it's um, got you the common name, the medicinal part and all this stuff. Anyway, it's just a really pretty unique piece of paper. So I coffee dyed a couple of these. Um, more of these. This is wedding invitation. That was really pretty. More coffee dyed paper. More of the book. So as you can see, I got a lot of options here with little pieces. Um, then I also had some music sheets, and I've already used a lot of them, so this is all that's left. <laughs> right now I'll have to do some more here soon, but um, this is just a whole piece, and I'm going to make envelopes and all sorts of pretty things from this. I'm excited. Um, this was just an ad that we had around town, and I thought the boy was really cute. It says Billy the Kid Business. You can see that, so... Anyway, just coffee dyed that, and it's a really thick piece of paper, so it'll be fun to use. And also pieces from an atlas. This is like the whole big opening, so I um, live in Montana, so I'm excited to use this piece with a junk journal. And then I just love traveling, so our maps, and this will make um, good sheets in for signatures, and it'll also make good envelopes or tags, whatever need be, and I've got a few of these. Um, I also used a bunch of scrapbook paper, and I got a big packet on a discount from Hobby Lobby, um, and I wanted to see what it would look like to coffee dye it, so I coffee dyed half, one of each of these pieces, and then I have one of each that's not coffee dyed to see just what I like the best. Um, so these are some of the pieces, this is what the back looks like, just rippled, and it honestly doesn't look super coffee dyed. On these sheets, but I'm really excited to use these anyway. They just kind of have a an aged look, a little bit of wrinkles, and again, I put these underneath books to flatten them out a little bit more. There's a lot of variety in this. When you get those discount packages, you just never know what you're going to get. So, um, yeah, it's going to be fun to use these. I've already used a couple of these. If you saw my second junk journal, it's got a lot of these pieces in there. So, anyway. This is a little bit of what I've been working on and how my last project turned out. So, hope you guys get a chance to do some more coffee dyeing. It will be lots of fun and I promise uh, you can use it for just everything. Just antiquing. <laughs>